The point of this video is to help people understand the process that goes into disseminating academic information about training. And in this case, I'm going to look at Dr. Brad Schoenfeld uh, and, and one of his recent pieces of work from 2017. He is known as the hypertrophy guy, the muscle size guy. He has quite a substantial amount of academic research under his belt. Dr. Brad Schoenfeld and colleagues conclude that indeed it is higher volume which will lead to increases in hu muscle hypertrophy and they state in their summary that this would be a minimum of 10 sets per week per body part. And they took 15 academic studies and they looked at the dose-response relationship between uh, weekly sets and hypertrophy. They didn't just pick 15 articles, it was a very in-depth, thorough process in terms of finding suitable research studies for them to then, where eventually, using a range of different parameters and criteria, they came upon the final 15 studies. So this is very important because it increases the quality of the information that ultimately you are being given which you apply to your workouts and they concluded that there is an incremental dose response relationship between volume and muscle hypertrophy in other words uh, an increase in volume leads to uh, an increase in hypertrophy and to be clear within the research they also state within their discussion that low volume training can build muscle however it is emphasized and I quote within this research that it is high volume which has significantly greater increases in muscle. One of the reasons given for this is perhaps the greater time under tension at certain loads. And within this study, Brad Schoenfeld quotes one of his uh, previous studies from 2013. And this is very interesting. And he says that research indicates that exercise induced metabolic stress augments muscle protein accretion, that there is there is most certainly an upper threshold to volume, at which point it will become less effective, you may plateau or indeed regress in your training. But within this, this research, it is stated that we do not have sufficient research to accurately give a number as to uh, what amount of volume is too high and therefore ineffective. And this is heavily influenced by genetics as stated within this, this research article. And of course, within any uh, good piece of academic research, you're gonna look at limitations in your research. Schoenfeld and colleagues identified the fact that within their analysis of the current literature, they found that, of course, they were looking at only hypertrophy-related outcomes, and they weren't looking at any other underlying mechanisms behind muscle growth. So this is a limitation in terms of the conclusion of this dose-response relationship between volume and muscle building. So I think the this is nothing new to you. Many of you have uh, do uh, some form of volume training to build muscle. It might make, make you think more about the information that you you listen to and that you believe in and perhaps in YouTube fitness there's a, there's a lot of information which is not applicable to you so I'm James Linker Shredder Sports Science see you soon